sneak peek. Welcome back to the world's first fishing, everybody. I'm Chris Jones. Thank you so much for being here today and taking time out of your schedules to watch us tinker around with some fishing lures. Now today, uh, kind of kind of a different video. We're going to be doing some Monster Energy drink color themed fishing lures, and I poured a set of swim baits pretty recently. Um, that kind of came out looking like Monster Energy Drink. In fact, when I sent them uh, to my buddy Drew Livewire Plastics, he was like, dude, those look like Monster Energy. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of completely by accident. Um, so we're gonna try to recreate that and then maybe do some like worms in the Monster Energy colors, you know, sort of that lime green and black, and just see if we can have some fun with it. I think it's kind of an interesting concept. It's kind of like trying to match your favorite football team colors or uh, you know your baseball team colors what whatever it might be you know maybe uh, if you play an instrument maybe you want to make some baits that look like your favorite guitar you know electric guitar colors so we're going to be doing some monster energy uh colors and uh here we go okay so there we go everybody is pretty much familiar with that and uh, it's sort of like this kind of lime green chartreuse and you kind of have the three, you know, parts of the M for monster. And so those swim bait pours that I did, let me pull up a picture of those. Um, the way that I kind of poured the sides, they had those three green, uh, yeah, 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 check it out. See, it kind of looks like the monster M. So that was kind of by accident that those came out looking like that. I was trying to make like a zombie bluegill. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with something much more simple. We're gonna to try to do some core shot stick worms in the monster theme. So I'm thinking maybe a clear shell with lots of this kind of medium sized black flake and then a bright green chartreuse core um, to try to get those two contrasting colors. I don't know, I think it'll be kind of fun. So what we have right here is we have our dead on plastics worm blend plastic. Um, which is a very soft barometer, perfect for a worm. Uh, it cooks very clear, uh, so we'll be able to get a nice clear shell. And I don't know, hopefully this works. If not, we'll re we, we will regroup and do something else. All right, so for the coarse shot mold, we have to kind of oil these rods and then put the rods back in place. Um, in fact, we might need a little bit more oil, but I'm just gonna share with y'all uh, some trivia about monster energy so it produces 34 different flavors which i had no idea i know they've got like a green can a blue can and some other ones uh let's see no one knows the exact flavors in in each okay so it sounds like they keep their recipe uh pretty secret like coca-cola here on the world's worst fishing we give away all of our recipes by the way uh, let's see what else they sponsor extreme sports music uh, Okay, yep knew that one. It's the second best selling energy drink So they have the biggest market share only behind Red Bull Which Red Bulls are horrible if you ask me It's commonly mixed with alcohol. That sounds like a disaster of a hangover uh, let's see. It used to be labeled as a dietary supplement. Yeah, I don't know about that. I think it's just sugar and chemicals. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, here we go. Some flavors have 50 grams of sugar per can. And holy cow. Many people think that it supports Satan. Did Monster Energy employees sell their souls to the devil? I don't know. That sounds like some Alex, Alex Jones stuff right there. All right, so here we go. We have our worm blend uh, cooked up there, and now we just want to add a bunch of black flake so that we can really try to get the black and green contrast. However, whenever you're doing a core shot, you still want the shell to be largely see-through. That way you can really see the core color. So that's why I'm not doing the core in the green, and uh, excuse me, that's why I'm not doing the shell in the green and then the core in black. I think I'll have better visibility this way. However, I still think I want some more. This is some of that new dead on flake. And this is what they call their just regular black is night. All right, here we go.
using our extra long N squared injector today. It's like a baseball bat. All right. Okay, there are the shells. So let's just take one and pull it off. Yeah. So clear with lots of black flake, and then we will fill it with the sort of the monster green color. So a real simple take on it. We could, of course, make things way more complicated and even skin pour into these individual cavities. But this right here might just work by itself. And what's a cool little trick that you can do <clears throat> with any core shot mold is if we just cut off the tips here of the shell, then whenever we fill in the core, okay, we're gonna have a full green tip on top of the green core. So there'll be green monster core shots with the green tips. So we might do one side with the green tips, one side without the green tips, and see which ones that we like more. So basically, we're just gonna slide these off and try and get them pretty even. So we kinda need to lay that down and snip it off sort of at the same place. Yeah, check it out. That right there is looking pretty darn even. So, let's close this mold up and now we are ready for the core color. All right, some more worm blend there. And let's see what we need to do here. I think we're just gonna start with this Neo Lime. That looks very much like it's on the right path. So we're just gonna start with some of that. Oh yeah. That's looking pretty fly already, to be honest. So the Monster Energy logo, one side is a little bit darker green of the M then the other side tends to like fade into a chartreuse. So we're gonna kind of blend the two, so to speak, just to try to get both sides of the equation. All right, time to run the cores. We have the uh, green pretty hot, about 360. And uh, here we go. Hold a little bit of pressure, and those cavities should be filled. I like to inject them a little faster than a normal mold. And a good sign is when you don't have a whole lot of air pockets or air bubbles bubbling back up. We can see one just came up there. That might be okay. So, fingers crossed. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happened. Join me in a drum roll, please. Let's see if number one, if the cores filled all the way and if they even remotely resemble a Monster Energy drink. Ooh, oh heck. Okay, check it out. All of them filled. Look at that. Isn't that cool with the green tips? You know what it really reminds me of? Is in the movie Predator. The Predator's blood. I don't know, what do y'all think? I almost think we need more black just to make them a little bit more Monster Energy-esque. Right, so I, I think we're maybe not getting as much black as we need, but is that not awesome? The green tip Monster Energy worms. Yeah, maybe more black, and I might could have even put some black in the shell color to make it like a charcoal. So we might try that. Ah, I knew one didn't fill. Jeez. I could tell those bubbles were going to be trouble. All right, so let's look at the other ones here. I definitely like them with the tips better. Definitely like them with the tips better. What do y'all think? Tip or no tip? I definitely think tips. 
Okay, so here's the new shell color. Two drops of black and significantly more black flake. So wish me luck. We're going to see how these turn out. All right, and there are the new shells. A little bit darker, a little bit more black flake, and we have all of the tips uh, cut off. So here we go. We're going to run the cores on these and see if they came out a little more monster-esque. Y'all, there it is. To me, these are much more monster-esque. Yeah. Let's get out the other ones, and we got all of them to fill. So we didn't get any screw-ups. And uh, to me, they just look a little bit darker in the uh, body, of course. A little bit more black. So I'm, I'm liking the amount of contrast. You know, it's much more dark. You still have the black and green, and then boom, the really bright green on the tips. So I would say those are much more Monster Energy-esque than the ones before. We'll get out a few from the ones before just to do a little comparison. Yeah, check that out. There's the comparison. Definitely, definitely gonna have to side with the new ones. Heck yeah, monster worms. Awesome, awesome. Tell me what y'all think in the comments below. All right, now let's get down to the uh, little bit more complicated of matters. So if, if we look at this green here, it looks like the monster energy green. Here's how it started, however. That's just the effect of this color right here being layered and blended with a dark brown and of course a black so that just kind of goes to show you how colors oops getting messages how colors can be manipulated based on how they are layered uh in into a bait and the colors behind them the colors next to them and the colors on top of them so interesting there so we're going to try to recreate that to an extent I'm pretty sure I have all of the pieces of it left from when I did that pour. So as you can see, we have four molds laid out here. This is going to be a part of the giveaway. Yes, I am giving away all of the baits from today. And uh, we're going to see if we can recreate these. I'm pretty confident that we can, especially since we have the same pucks left over. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fun. So let's get to skin pouring. This is a very complicated layering uh, technique and uh, I hope y'all will enjoy seeing it come together. All right, here we go. We need to start with basically the Monster M stripes, okay? So very similar to how we do a lot of our skin pours, very similar to like a perch pattern. We just kind of want to do that. Just like that. That's the Monster M. We're going to do it in the center here. Yeah. And one more. I don't like that last one. It doesn't taper enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel that one off and try again. Eh, always takes me a little bit of a warm up here to get them looking just right. That's a little bit better. Yeah. So immediately M for monster, just like that. And that's basically the first layer. That's the first step. And what's cool is we're actually going to come back with some black plastic and then basically outline our Monster M. And that's what really gives it such a cool effect. So that right there is step number one. All right, time for some black uh, outline here. So let's get our camera in focus. And just very carefully, we just want to outline. So we're going to start up top, pour a little black. Let it kind of run down the edge, okay? Now we have a black outline. Same for this side. Let it run down the side, okay? So that's what we have going on. And this is step number two. So we have to do that for every single one of those stripes on every single mold. Okay, so we skipped step three. Step three was just taking this brown and just kind of filling in those gaps. Um, so that brown right there is just regular brown mixed with a little bit of black, just to darken it. So now we just want to pour some of this red up in the heads there. Let it kind of flow all in. 
And that's that. That is exactly the build on the monster swim beds. Or whatever you want to call them. Energy drink themed hand pours. So yeah, just kind of manipulate where that plastic goes till it goes where you want it to. And uh, yeah, that's just a little snapshot of how much work goes into pours like this. And we're not done yet. Okay, so we have the molds closed up and we are ready to pour. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the craw tube blend uh, from that on plastics. That's what I like to pour my six inch swim baits in. So for example, much, much firmer plastic than the uh, worms from earlier in today's video. Still love those worms there. Um, so anyway, that is the next step. We're basically just gonna pour a very light white pearl belly and then a smoke charcoal top. So basically we're gonna measure out three quarters of a measuring cup of plastic and we're gonna use about three drops of black. Um, so that's gonna be the top color. And then like I said, the belly color for those is just gonna be a very light white pearl, very natural, very simple. And I think these will look pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna to top off a few of these. Just with that charcoal black. Beautiful. Just like that. Can never get in a hurry with this stuff. That's my biggest piece of advice. Take your time, do it right the first time. Because you don't want to be trying to trim a bunch of overspill and uh, clean things up after you're done. You know, mistakes happen, but if you just take your time, generally speaking, you can come out with some clean pours. All right, those are looking good. No major overspill, no major problems. And uh, we're gonna let those cool down very slow. That way we have nice, flat, even tops and we don't get that dip. And uh, then we're gonna throw some awesome jets and eyes on them. And I think they'll be pretty cool. All right, if these are as good as I think they will be, they deserve a drum roll. Here we go, second drum roll, drum roll of the day. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, and it came off smooth. Yes, there it is, the monster themed swim bait pour that's it and look at how different the green looks in fact let me go get the green there it is that's how it started you can just see you know we poured that that sort of top charcoal and you can see that the green with that charcoal behind it is a little bit darker and then it fades down to um, a little bit lighter on the bottom and if we look at the monster logo which let's pull it back up. It actually kind of does that too. So if we look at it here, right? You can see it's a little darker green on this side and then fades. So we actually sort of by mistake captured that effect. So that right there is the eye that I used uh, in the originals, those right there. However, you can see I only have a set for three baits. However, because these have that bright green, boom! We have some mahi-mahi eyes coming in for the rescue. All right, let's get this bad boy on there. There we go. Matches really well. You know, just the, the green and chartreuse vibe of that eyeball really complements i think the overall theme of the bait okay we actually got and emptied a monster energy can uh just to add some effect and to see how we did in terms of matching the colors and i have to say the green on the tips of the uh core shot worms there really really goes goes well with that as does the black effect and if you look at the green stripes on the swim baits they really have that fade effect that I think really works well. So, wow. Question of the day, of course. 
which ones were your favorites? Did you like the, you know, fancy pants, uh, hand poured swim baits there with all the layers? Or did you like something a little bit more normal, practical, and usable in the Core Shot Stick Worm? Please let me know down in the comments below. Have you asked yourself today if you've got bait molds? Okay, everybody, thanks for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope uh, you got to see some cool, entertaining colors and uh, maybe some concepts. Now, to the giveaway. So I mentioned during the video, and it's probably gonna be in the thumbnail, that these baits are going to be in a giveaway. So uh, if you followed to the end of this video, you are rewarded with the giveaway details. So basically, no different than what we do before. You need to share this video, really blast it out, share it to your Facebook, share it to your Instagram stories, your Instagram feed, your Twitter, wherever you hang out the most, even if you're another YouTuber, share it to your community tab. Blast the video out, leave me a comment down below saying that you shared the video. That will enter you into a random giveaway drawing that we will do in a couple of days. Uh, we'll probably give it five or six days, at which point we will actually come on here and do a live stream uh, and then select the winner, um, which is basically just a random comment raffle giveaway. So uh, that keeps things fair. I'm not just choosing somebody. I'm letting fate do it. And uh, that'll be via a live stream. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, every now and then a set of baits is worth one last little peek here. One last look. Love it, love it, love it. So cool. Hope y'all enjoyed.